everybody, Robbie with Robbie's Reptiles here, and I thought today I would make a quick no BS video about how to keep crested geckos. And first we're gonna be starting with my juvenile grow up or my small adult uh, also kind of grow up uh, facility. Usually I keep them in these tubs that I got from the container store. They go for about $32 a piece, which is a bit steep, but if you sign up when you do the big purchase, then you can save 15% or whatever, and it's not a credit thing. So I ended up being able to get like 100 of these for $28 a piece. And what's really great about them is after I soldered in a bunch of holes in the front, they all slide in and they all stack on top of each other. Now what I've done here is I'm pretty much using the geckos as, uh, and sorry if he's on the microphone, I have a gecko on my shoulder. The thought behind this was, you know, we're not quite big enough in order to have a full facility, which we're working towards. So for now, I figured that this would be kind of one of my uh, studio areas. So up here we actually have, so up here is usually where I take all the pictures uh, and use various backgrounds. And then down here is where I actually just keep them. Uh, and the hatchlings are over here to, the, to your right. And uh, this is where I keep the juveniles or the adults that are needing to put on more weight. So I want them to be, you know, this is where like the females will cool off or the males will cool off and trying to get weight back onto them. And it's really convenient because they all slide in and out from each other, which is super, super convenient. Rather than having to use standard tubs where you have to take the top off every single time you wanna go and do a cleaning or any other time you wanna do a feeding, it really just saves time to be able to slide out, do all of your stuff and slide back in. That right there saves you a good 30 seconds on each tub. And by the end of doing 250 geckos, that saves you a lot of time. We are going ahead and cleaning this guy's cage, which I already did the courtesy of emptying out. This is a creamsicle lily white. He's a beautiful male and he is now proven. So what we're gonna be doing is cleaning out his tub and I figured I'd show you guys how to keep it. Now what's great about the setup that I've come up with, and, and I'm not really come up with it, but you know what I mean, is you can keep them at any size with this exact same layout. So all you need to do is apply this layout to the next, let's say you have a hatchling, same way. Let's say that you have a 70 gram adult that you're keeping in a really big tub. You can set this up the exact same way. All that you do is scale the decorations with the gecko and it's that simple. So you have the empty tub and what's great about these tubs is that with the paper towels, they perfectly line up to be three paper towels each. So I'm not having to cut any, I'm not having to reshape any. Boom, just like that, it's very simple to set up. Then what I do is I get a nice piece of cork. Cork bark is great because it's a little bit more natural for them to climb on. Whether they can tell the difference, that's not up for me to decide, but it's really helpful to have something hard in there so that when they're shedding, they have something, a rough surface that they can get the shed off. And you want them to have a lot of things to climb on. Usually I would add more cork bark to this, but for demonstration purposes, you can be as simple as this. Then I'll put in a piece of bamboo or something. Then I get fake plants, whether they are these type, which are the really cheap kind if you're trying to save a buck, or you can get the more elaborate vines that they have at, um, forgot the name of the store, Hobby Lobby. It's Hobby Lobby. At Hobby Lobby, they have sales on these fake plants all the time, killer deals. Uh, this is the cheapest ones that they have. I think I got these for $2 a piece. This is one. So what I'll do, and they're bendable as well. So what I'll do is I'll bend them up and down so that they have a little bit more volume rather than just being flat. Now they have more three-dimensional space, which will provide more hiding spots for the gecko. So right there, he's got plenty of leaves to hide in and he's got cork bark to climb on. Then we'll add the food dish. And I'm gonna make a separate video about the food dishes that I use. I found this to be super helpful. I learned it from South Bay Reptiles. Uh, they're essentially like in and out uh, ketchup holders. You put the gecko food in there. And for those of you that care uh, about like biodegradable shit, um, you know, it probably can do that. And then you put that in and then you get the gecko off of your back when he listens finally. So now they have cork bark to climb on, they have food, and then you're gonna spray them down, which will give them water to drink and the humidity that they need. That's what's so great about these tubs is that they hold in the humidity flawlessly. I'm actually able to spray once every three days because it holds the humidity so well. That is efficiency. So I'll go ahead and demonstrate this with a hatchling enclosure as well, but this would be for my 30 gram-ish adults up to about 40, and then past that, I put them into a bigger tub. This one keeps jumping everywhere and slamming onto the floor, so I'm gonna put it in the tub so that at least I can keep an eye on it. So again, it's very simple, same setup. Get a piece of cork bark, put the cork bark in there, 
get a fake plant. I like these fake plants from Hobby Lobby for the hatchlings because they have little cups in them and I feel that they hold the water better. So now they have a better water source, more reliable water source. Then I put in the food dish and that's it. This is how I keep hatchlings. As you can see, very simple. They have things to climb on, they have things to hide in, and they have food to eat, and they'll have water to drink. As simple as it gets. So the only real noticeable difference between one of these uh, smaller adult tubs versus the bigger adult tubs is that I'm able to fit these rounds in there. And I'm pretty sure that I can find ones that would fit in here, but I'd have to go through like 50 pounds of cork bark shipments in order to find the right sizes. For now, I only have flats that are in here, but when I have the bigger tubs, I use the rounds because it gives more three-dimensional space and I always try to maximize that when I can. But I found that with these, for the smaller adults that are in like the 28 to 35 gram range, they do just fine in there and I'll stack flats so they have more surface area to climb on. But this really is the only notable difference between this size of tub and my biggest size of tub is that I can fit these rounds in there. So this is how I keep my crested geckos. That's about it, guys. Thank you for watching. Subscribe if you haven't already. So this here is the gecko that I'm gonna be giving away. It is from my Kevin and Karen pairing. Uh, so it has some really good lineage with some really high pattern crested geckos. But anyway, uh, I decided I'm going to be extending the giveaway from the first video because me and Kuzan the Cresty went into this kind of together and now I'm part of a bigger giveaway. So just so that it wasn't over so quick since we're already over 100 subscribers, uh, I wanted to extend it and possibly I'll just give away a second one if there's too many people that did it. So anyway, just so you know, this is going to be the gecko that I'm giving away. Uh, stay tuned.